Water Bros, and welcome to VDB TV. I'm your host, VDB, and today we have a 4 vs 4 here on Emna Island version 1.0.1, and it's going to be a clan DME practice run, it seems, like a little scrim they're practicing for their top tier games that they'll be playing. And they will be playing against a mixed bag of people, it seems. Let's start by introducing the mixed bag. Team leader, we've got Pro Randy. You can see he's still got the pumpkin on his head because it is Halloween. <laughs> still. Uh, Randy is an OS of 51. He's from Country Unknown. Look at him bopping along. He's loving it. And he is ranked 6 on the leaderboards for small team games at the moment. Next up, we have Modulo. He's got a little witch hat on. He'll be going the Armada Commander here. He is an OS of 36. He is from the United Kingdom. He's going bots. And he is ranked number 73 on the leaderboards for small team games. Next, we've got our boy from Clan Smile. Rainbow to top one. He's got a witch hat as well. So I was trying to figure out what that was. It was the broom on the back. He will also be going Armada bots. He has an OS of 27, he's from the Philippines, and he is over rank 100. And then lastly on this team, we have Dark PMs, and he is also Armada, so it's a full team of Armada except for Randy. He is an OS of 17, he's from Brazil, and he's over rank 100. And as we do this, you can see that both teams are getting some scouts out. I'll try and introduce these guys as fast as I can so we can catch that. We've got, for the clan DME leader here, well, I don't know if he's the leader of the clan, but he's the leader of this game. We've got Flying Duck. He is a Cortex a red player. He is an OS of 41. He's from the United Kingdom, and he is 24 on the leaderboards. His teammate here, we have Cobalt Store. He is an OS of 22. He's from France, and he's over rank 100. He'll be going Armada bots, it seems, yes. And then we got Zberg. Zberg is an OS of 33, he's from the Netherlands, and he is ranked 88 on the leaderboard. And then just down here, the last but not least, we have, who will it be? It'll be C3BO. He is an OS of 39, he's from the United Kingdom, and he is ranked 30 on the leaderboards for small team games. Which is very surprising, actually, considering his rank. Lots of ticks coming out for the blue team, they have a lot of Armada players, so you would be expecting a lot of ticks coming out of here. Let's just click on the player view and just see. No scouting's been done for the blue team yet. Single grunt, getting getting work done. Let's see if the orange team. The orange team doesn't have scouting because Randy's efficiently blocked off this single channel, the single avenue of uh, approach. Seems like the blue team has the easier area to defend, but it must be harder for them to expand out into. You see little skirmishes going on all over the map. The single grunt's actually getting work done. I said that Randy had sufficiently blocked down this area, but it seems... For some reason, this guy wasn't shooting. I don't know. I didn't I didn't see. Maybe Randy was out of power? I'm not quite sure what, what the deal was there. Single grunt just putting in absolute work here from Zberg. Zberg is killing it. A mace will come out to try and fend him off. A few mace. Oh my god, a lot of mace. That grunt, man. Grunt's first pawns in the early game is just redonkulous. These mace can't hit a hit anything for their life. Look at this! Mate, increase the speed for pawns, please. Come on. Come on. That's ridiculous. How many kills this guy? He's up seven kills. MVP grunt right here. Alright, someone's gonna try and harass them. See a little bit of a battle going on here. Pawns getting cleaned up by grunts. Grunts getting cleaned up by pawns. Pawn getting up very close before the first shot is fired and the pawn wins just. That pawn, ah, sorry, that grunt down in the south has been cleaned up now. Let me swing us back around so we're on a more of a normal angle. Dark PM's going straight for a shipyard. Okay, he's got his starting area. He is still pumping out of a bot lab. I'd say this is a bit of a mistake, because he's building a construction turret at the same time. Absolutely throwing... Throwing, um... Throwing resources away, it seems. He will take that metal extractor in the south. Sounds like we've got an air player. Yet, a bombing run already going to be coming out for our boy C-3BO. We'll keep our eye on those guys. Just give me a second. I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of the economy for the red team. I'm not sure how 
well this translates. There we go. All right, let's have a look. That bombing run looks like it's going to be coming in very soon. You see a little skirmish going on just up ahead here. Red team trying to push through to the front lines. Randy and the green player will be holding that. Who is the green player? M Modulo? Modulo it is. Bombing run's coming straight in onto Rainbow to top one. Oh, and the wind turbines are gone. There goes his energy. Not all of it, though. He's still got enough energy to keep going. The bombers do move away. Rain Rainbow to top is actually expanding to the ocean, it seems, with his commander. Randy and Modulo taking it upon themselves to hold the center. When I was saying that the blue team had the easier place to hold, I didn't actually realize that there was two separate ways around here. Those are the worst arrows. I'm terrible at drawing arrows, but those have to be the worst I've done. It's looking like a, a Pawn Rush, Strength, Dark PMs. They're going to spot the Geothermal. Oh my god, it's a terrible Pawn Rush here from Zberg. He really threw a lot of those Pawns away. Sorry, Grunts. But they do pick up a Construction Bot. They sort of need to cancel this Blueprint, because this Commander can actually just start building this Blueprint. There's a little bit of metal here for him to pick up, which he will pick up. Oh, he's transitioned into AA, and he's building boats. This is what I mean. I think he's wasted too many resources... He's wasted far too many resources getting the shipyard out. He's got two factories producing at the same time. And he doesn't have the build power to, well, the resources to get units out quickly. And Dark PMs will actually be cleaned up. He's going to have to start again. Lucky he's got the stuff down here in the ships. So he does have an economy still going. And C3BO is absolutely putting in work. You see the new transport carrying the commander around. And boy, does it have a lot of health. Thistle cannot stop this, man. The battle lines were drawn. Oh, that bombing run. Landing it on Modulo's back line. Modulo has thistles. Sorry, nettles. So they will be able to drive him off. Not before some damage is done. There is a construction bot here, which will be able to rebuild these metal extractors, which is a good sign. And it'll be interesting to see if C-3BO actually transitions out of aircrafts here. Sorry, let me just... Get a bit of a better angle for you guys. You see, we got three commanders on the front. We got Modulo, Randy, C3BO, and Zberg. Yep, Zberg on the front here. He's going to have vehicles out of Randy on the front line. He's got some artillery. We got Shurikens coming out for C3BO. And he's not transitioning out of aircraft. He's going to just be going Shuris for now. Very good defensive unit. At least so on the offense, especially if they have any sort of AA anywhere on the map. Is that. Oh, first commander goes down, and it's Rainbow to top one. And that is from Flying Duck. See, Flying Duck has ships. Where's his shipyard? Did I miss him build it and reclaim it? He must have. He managed to get a single destroyer out, and that destroyer has done wonders. It's already got a commander kill, and it's cleared the... Uh, we'll call it the Eastern Ocean for now. This artillery is putting in work on Zeberg's front line. Zeberg doesn't actually have a whole lot here. It does get a nice D-gun off. Pro Randy coming up, he's probably going to degun this LLT. Great push out of Modulo and Pro Randy, but it's looking like Tier 2 is already out for Cobalt. Not sure if there's any communism coming with that. C3PO has been commander dropped into Dark PM's base. He's just been a nuisance this entire game. And with the shurikens, did he capture? He captured the shipyard. <laughs> what an absolute troll, that's so funny. And it's looking like he's going to actually be capturing the frigates as well. That's pretty funny. Randy pushing in very hard. Him and Modulo are going to be very unstoppable here soon. Zberg's commander is out of position. He's actually a bit trapped. Randy's commander is a bit out of position too. It's a very, very high intensity game. I'm actually struggling keeping up with everything here. Zberg's looking like he's going to go down. He's trying his dandest to get away. His dandest? His darndest. Would have been nice for this heavy transport to come and pick him up. It might actually come and pick him up and save him. It's going to be a save of the century if it does. And it does. That's ridiculous. Randy's commander's down here on quite low HP. What's he on? He's on 29% HP. And he is going to just escape. Is he going to try and capture the needle? Does get some D-guns off on the grants. Oh, that's a coastal. That's a beautifully placed coastal launcher. Right, that's enough for just here. Let's check out Cobalt's economy. You see, he's transitioned to T2 bots. He's already getting his fusion up, and we're at 9 minutes 40. He's trying to get the fusion and the metal extractor at the same time. 
you see he stopped building the metal extractor because he just did not have the resources for it which is not surprising at all probably would have actually got this metal extractor up before going for the fusion i I'd quite like to get the three metal extractors first but as you can see here there's a lot of red units well hot colors which is the red units pushing in it's looking like the purple players command has just gone down the battle lines are drawn it's pretty even but you can see here that the red team is firmly in the snowball position especially with the tier 2 player out already that tier 2 that gunslinger it's got eight kills and these gunslingers are amazing every time they get a kill they get experience and they self heal so the the higher level they are the faster auto repair is i'm pretty sure and the faster reload time so they end up doing a lot more dps so if you can get these guys out early and keep them alive they can do a lot of damage sounds like a sniper's out yep flying ducks transitions to t2 now as well modulo is going to be in a bit of trouble with his commander randy's commander's still banging around down the back i think uh randy's quite out of position here i'm not quite sure what he's expecting to do Maybe he's trying to walk all the way to one of their bases over here, but I don't think he's going to be able to pull it off. You see the Flying Ducks actually taken the entire ocean on the east side here, and he's got great ground unit support. Randy does actually manage to give all these units the slip. Zberg's going to be coming after him. And what is that? That's a sniper? Yep. That sniper looks different. Is that how snipers have always looked? I swear snipers didn't used to look like that. Wait, what? Am I tripping? Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I love it. Anyway, front line. The gunslinger is up to 17 kills now. Make that 18. So you can see here, the more kills he gets. Oh, look at that fire rate. He needs to keep this gunslinger alive, though. He wants to get him away. You want to you wanna put these thugs in between the brutes and the gunslinger. Oh, the gunslinger survives just. He needs to get that gunslinger out of there and heal him. Oh, that is madness. That gunslinger just drew in so many units. That's exactly what you want to do. There's almost 2k metal here in the center. Flying Duck and Randy will be going head to head here in a second. Randy has been given a commander by someone. Not sure who. He's going to sacrifice him though. That's going to go down. Did lose quite a bit of his own units there. Not quite sure if that was the best play of the game. Flying Duck and... C3BO and Zberg are all going to be pushing through the center line now. Um, Modulo and Randy are going to need some backup soon. They sort of need a T2 player, but they've been knocked down. So they're actually down a player and two players on the red team are in T2. No, I take it back. I thought Flying Duck was in T2, but he actually just received that, that unit. There you go. You can see Cobalt actually gave him. And that might be the GG. Randy might be right here. Unless his commander can walk up and degun all this stuff, but I don't think he can. He's, yeah, he's clicked up there, but there's nowhere for the commander to actually walk. He has to go the long way around. Which is going to suck. I think his commander's going to die here. We're going to watch him die. It's going to be very quick. It's going to be very painful. And it's not going to be fun at all. I take it back. He survived. Okay. I think Zberg actually overreacted there by flying his commander away. He could have used his commander to kill Randy there. They might still get him, but he can just walk into the water. It does have a radar in the water, which is kind of funny. This front push is really putting on that pressure. This gunslinger is MVP, I'm telling you what. Cobalt is going to be getting the MVP, but just remember at the end that it's going to be this gunslinger. He's going to be hitting 40 kills very soon. There we go, 40 kills, and it's a construction bot as the last kill, which is exactly what you want. Here comes, comes an all-terrain rocket spider. He's got the silver star, look at this madman go, and look at the stats down the bottom left here, I'll move my mouse so you can see them, he's got 71% health, sorry let me put on auto follow here, there we go, he's got 71% health, negative 26% reload speed, oh and he gets extra health by the way when you, when you get ranks up, so he's 2671 now health, that's insane, let's see how much he gets after he kills this, we don't know because he took damage, but yeah, he is laughing. Yeah, you can see there, he's already got 40 health since we saw. And there's the GG. Clan DME actually take that out. It was very well put together by them. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I think that maybe if uh, Randy and Modulo had some higher tier players in their team, it would have been a little bit more of an exciting game. But 
Um, Cobalt store is quite low OS, but he still managed to get that T2 out quickly and give that crucial support to his team. He definitely gets MVP for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.